that's why. I mean, that's how he is. That's his confidence level. So, um, yeah, he uh, he's one of those guys that, that, that thinks he can do anything, and that's good. That's half the battle. Zach, you talked about kind of shifting the line around. Was, was Kroom in there originally, or did you insert him after the timeout? It seems like he may have been kind of doing something here. Yeah, we inserted him uh, just to get a little bit more speed down there. And him and Ethan are both very big, and they're both very capable. Uh, just need some speed down there at the edge um, and, and just got sometimes when you're going and you have that play called and you're not able to have a timeout or able to have time to talk about it you just got to go with the personnel that's on the field in the formations that you have and that's how we practice it we also when we have a timeout are able to move the pieces around where we need them and thank god that we had a couple left um, and uh, coach called timeout we were able to do what we need to do and, and get the right pieces in there where was jennings initially uh, he, he was backside initial. Backside. Yeah, he's he's the extra receiver. You talk about Crimson Steve decides to kind of walk out some guys. Is that part of, part of the thought process as well, or is that just kind of? Really you know, actually, uh, him and the the Jawan and the point man, um, JJ uh, Crimson's actually the jumper. But when when guys get passed across, they just flip responsibilities, and that's kind of how it went down. I don't know if if. It mattered. I think Juwan was going to go try and catch that ball, <laughs> regardless of how it's drawn on paper and how we talk about it. He's just—he was—he was, he was going to go get that thing. Coach, we forget kind of the. You know.